So for my project, I did a dictionary app, so you can search for and look up different definitions of words. So you open it up and you can see there's the very basic search bar as well as the on-screen keyboard. So let's go ahead and search for the word me. So you can see there are 10 different results and there are the, all the words that came up with the word me in it, as well as a basic one-line definition of each, just kind of a little preview. But that doesn't have a lot of results, so let's go ahead and search for the word I. So as you can see, there are 50 results for I, and parsed to the list 25 just to kind of save on memory and such. Um, but you can see it's a scrollable list and there are multiple different definitions. So you click on one of them and it opens up the definition page with the word, the type of speech it is, and then the definition with a kind of basic example. But let's go ahead and open up the first I on the list. And as you can see, there are a few different definitions as well as a lot of different examples for each. Um, and it's a very, very long list. Uh, but you can see on the list that the I also comes up twice, uh, and that's because on the first one it is a noun, and then on the second one it's the actual verb. So it actually differentiates between the two with the API that I used. Um, so I used Pearson's Longman Dictionary API. Um, it's free, so it was a simple solution. So you just do an HTTP request to one of their API pages with a query, and then you get JSON back and you can parse that and display the data like it did. But the app has a fairly simple interface, so that's pretty much it.